Hey, how you doing? Just a heads up, this is chapter one of my audiobook, Conversational Relationship Marketing. It's not a traditional episode of the Client Catching Podcast, so make sure that you do listen to these in order. I mean, you can listen to some of the golden rules that are going to follow out of order, but I do suggest that you listen to the book in order as it's laid out, or just help yourself to some of the other uh, episodes of the Client Catching Podcast. Golden rule number one. You need a roadmap to get you where you want to go. But think about it. When you're planning any journey, you need to begin with the end in mind. You need to know where you want to get to so you can plan your route for how you're going to get there based on where you are now. Now, the same principle applies to growing your business and your client base. In this case, the end in mind, it isn't that you just want to do some marketing. See, the end in mind is that you want to grow your business. But you need to know specifically what that growth looks like. This is your goal. This is your destination. Now, for most of the service businesses and B2B businesses that I talk to, they don't need thousands or even hundreds of clients to grow at a steady rate. To be honest, it would break their business. So it's not usually a high number. So in order to set your destination, you just need to ask yourself a simple question. What is the level of the growth that you could realistically fulfill on that you would need to achieve in order for you to be happy with your progress 12 months from now. What is that revenue number? Now write that down because now you have your goal and it's important because if you don't have this, you're going to be drifting on the metaphorical open ocean for a long time because you'll be a victim of the current with no idea of where you're going. And if you don't know where you're going, you don't know which tactics to use to get there. So you'll end up trying a bunch of random stuff and getting random result. You need to know the numbers of successful growth. Now I'm going to show you how this works using conservative numbers, as I believe it's a much better idea to approach all of your marketing activities, assuming bare minimal results. Because if it still makes sense at this conservative level, then we've got a winning formula. So let's say you need 12 clients in a year to reach the revenue goal that you've set yourself. Now, the next thing you need to know is how many serious sales conversations do you need to have where you make an offer to a potential client? How many of those do you need to have to get those 12 clients? Now, let's say you currently enroll two out of 10 clients from these conversations. So now you know that you need to have sales conversations with 60 prospects. Once you know this, now you can work out how many leads you need to generate in order to have those 60 sales conversations, right? So let's assume you generate two conversations from every 100 leads generated. That means that now you know that in order to generate, you need to generate 3,000 leads to get those 60 conversations over 12 months, right? So that's basically 3,000 leads at a conversion rate of 2% leads to 60 conversations or prospects with a sales conversion rate of 20% leads to 12 clients. And if you do that over a 12 month period, that's your roadmap. That, those are the numbers that you're looking to hit, right? Now you have your roadmap because when you know these numbers, now you have options. But if you don't know these numbers, it's really difficult to select the right system of tactics for reaching that goal that you're trying to actually reach, right? Because if your goal is 10 clients, it's going to dictate a, one set of tactics. But if you need a thousand clients to hit your goals, that's going to require a very different set of tactics. So by knowing your goal, your destination and working backwards, you can define the right strategy to replace the thousands of potential tactics out there with just a handful at most. Yet the key to understanding the potential behind a business development strategy like this one I'm showing you here, it comes from understanding another very important number. And it's one that I find that most people rarely think about. And that's the value of a conversation. Now, just for clarity, when I refer to a conversation specifically here, I'm talking about a serious sales conversation where you make an offer to a potential client who is in a position to invest with you. They have the problem that you solve and they're motivated to solve it, right? So in order to understand the value of a conversation, you'll need to know your client lifetime value or your CLV and your close rate, your CR. Now, why? Well, it's because you'll then use a simple little formula to calculate the value of a conversation to your business. And that is customer lifetime value times 
close rate. That's your conversational value. That's your conversation value. So let's say you sell a service for three and a half thousand pounds per month, and on average, a client stays with you for 12 months. That means that your client lifetime value, your CLD, would be 42,000 pounds. Now let's say you're not even getting the 20% close rate from what I just went through earlier, but an even more conservative 10%. So when you plug this into the formula, you have a 42,000 client lifetime value times a 10% close rate. That means that each conversation that you have has a value of 4,200 pounds, right? That's a valuable conversation. So then you can ask yourself the question, how much is generating 10 conversations a month worth to you? Now, according to the formula above, this would be worth 504,000 pounds a year or 42,000 per month to your business. And you get that by your conversation value of 4,200 times 10 conversations per month over 12 months, right? And that is how you get the uh, £504,000 a year. It is a little bit easier to uh, you know, look at this in the actual written guide, so make sure that you uh, go and grab your copy at thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book, right? Because what you can do then is go ahead and plug your own numbers into the formula, and hopefully it gets you pretty excited about the potential here, and it spurs you on to continue listening so that you know how to generate these conversations, right? There's just one more thing that you really should do for first, and that is set your targets and achieve them and actually know how to do it. Now, I've included in the book a link to my one page business growth roadmap and workbook. It's all in the action steps at the end of, um, of this golden rule and obviously in the written book. So make sure again you go and get that at thinklikeafish.co.uk forward slash free book and you can go into this a little bit deeper. But for now, you can think a little bit, think about it a little bit like this, right? Because having done this for over 17 years now, refined it and helped hundreds of clients with it too, I found the following to be a really effective way of setting your goals and making a simple plan to reach them, right? So the first thing is to set your goals for the next three years. And really, I should really say vision here for the next three years, but you've got to think about things like, where do you want to be in the next three years? What does your lifestyle look like? What does your business need to look like to achieve this? Now, to give you a bit of an idea, this can include things like what is the revenue and the profit? What services do you offer and at what kind of price points? What does your team look like and all those sorts of things? Because you need to be ultra clear about what you want in order for this to be effective. Because with this information, now you can work backwards and break it down so you have a plan that will help you stay on track to achieve it. What needs to happen in the next 12 months for you to move closer to this goal? Then you break this down into what needs to be achieved in the next 90 days, then break it down into what needs to be done this month and this week, and then you can break it down as granularly as what you need to do today. Because when you do this properly, you'll have the conviction and the clarity and knowing that what you do on a daily basis is actually going to get you to where you want to go. Okay, so I have flogged knowing your numbers, setting goals, targets to death pretty much. So now it's over to you, over to the action steps. You uh, So go and get a copy of the uh, written version where you can uh, click in the action steps at the end of this chapter to get a copy of my one page growth strategy roadmap. You can complete the accompanying workbook, which is there and get a copy of my growth accelerator ecosystem projection model and start to see what numbers you need to hit in order to achieve your growth goals. So that's it for this golden rule. Let's move on to golden rule number two. Thank you ever so much for listening today. I know there's a lot of podcasts out there you could be listening to. You've chosen this one. And for that, I am truly, truly grateful. If you're a first time listener or a, or a long time listener and you haven't yet subscribed to the show, please make sure that you do because you'll get updated of the latest episodes every time they come out. And if again, you are enjoying it, I'd really, really appreciate a honest rating review on Apple Podcasts. 
I read every single one personally and they do really mean the world to me. And yes, they help others find the show. If you're able to do that, again, I massively, massively appreciate it. But until next time, happy fishing.